Hello everyone, welcome back to Nerd Corner, and here we have something very, very intriguing. I'm going to flip over to this article since it's uh, behaving a little bit better, but we'll look at both of them. I, I saw this pop up on my Android tablet, and I could not believe what I was reading. So, I, I have a friend of mine who really, his theory with, uh, I know with uh, Windows 10, there's more of the Linux kernel underneath uh, for, for certain things. And uh, his belief is at some point Windows is just going to be um, a, a, a shell, if you will, on top of of uh, Linux. And some version of Linux, probably Ubuntu or something, or Mint or something. You know, you know, maybe the Ubuntu kernel. But um, I found it an interesting idea because one of the things that has to happen. There's many things that have to happen, but the gaming piece has to be kind of settled as well as what do we do for backward compatibility. Now, already you can find free versions of DOS and some other things that let you run some older stuff there. So that may be part of what they do is kind of capture that and keep it away. So I saw this and I was like, okay, Office applications. Now we have Google, you know, there's Google Office. You can do Word, you know, Word processing and spreadsheets and stuff, all that in the browser, which is, you know, it's good and bad. You know, nice thing is that uh, you can get to it anywhere. The bad thing is it's, it's Google more or less owns it, if you will. They own that file. Um, not saying they didn't necessarily do anything nefarious with it, but there is that. So Microsoft today launched uh, Microsoft Teams for Linux. Um, or public preview, that's not a typo. Microsoft Teams is indeed the first Office app. The company has supported the Linux. You can download Microsoft Teams as a native. Um, so we have it as Deb Debian and RPM. So we have Red Hat and we have Debian. So what's interesting here uh, is it's Teams because they're really trying to push this on the Windows platform. Um, I've worked at a couple different places that have tried to use this and everybody hates it. <laughs> so this in some ways is just an extension of Skype. Um, we had Skype for Windows. Uh, Slack te seems to be the better piece, but uh, that people like better, I should say. Teams is the uh, uh, company's Office 365 chat-based collaboration tool that competes with Google Hangouts chat, yeah, which is really almost dead, I think. Um, workspace, oh, my, Facebook's Workplace and Slack. It also, it's also Microsoft's fastest-growing business app ever. Well, then obviously it's in use more than I think. Uh, Microsoft shared that Teams is used by, well, basically half a million organizations uh, just two years after launch. Now, what would be interesting to see is what they mean by in use, because uh, that stuff gets installed automatically with the Windows 10. Um, I basically have to, when I get a new Windows 10 machine, is go and turn it off to tell it to stop coming up, because uh, we don't use it. Um, so it's just kind of like, you know, uh, they used to count, uh, require businesses to ship their OS if they're going to ship them with their, they had to ship with every computer. And then a lot of people like me get a new machine and then we don't even use the windows. We put Linux on it. There's a lot of nuance in that figure. Slack, okay. Uh, Microsoft's main rival is par particularly critical of how Microsoft got to 20 million daily active users. Slack has over 12 million. Uh, nonetheless, Slack is already available for Linux. Although it's still in beta, so Microsoft is playing catch up here. Um, well, if it's if it's public release, a public um, preview, I think it's a bit past beta. So I think they've caught and passed up. Uh, sorry for all the popping of peas. Microsoft has shown a lot of love for Linux lately. Open source, um, open source.net, yeah, .NET Core 3 just dropped, which is 3.1, I think, is actually out. Uh, I can't wait to use it with a writer on my Mac and on my Linux machine. Um, so we have Linux and Mac open sourcing PowerShell and extending it to Linux. Uh, I don't know if that's really a good thing. PowerShell is really horrible. I don't, I don't like it at all. I'd rather use Bash. Uh, bringing uh, visual source code to Linux as a snap and, and so on. Um, yeah, that's interesting. So the visual code. Now, the Visual Studio code is very interesting. I know people that use it, but it requires a lot of plugins to get it to be really helpful. It's really just kind of a shell, if you will. An Office uh, app on Linux is something else. Now, granted, this is a little far-fetched in my view to call it Office, but it is. Now, if it was Word or Excel, that would be something fantastic. The operating system has less than 2% desktop market share. Again, that's, that. yeah, desktop market share, but it's huge in servers. Um, but, you know, I, ha I had Linux Mint as my primary desktop for two years in a, in a, in a massively Windows environment. Uh, so it can be done. Plus, I was doing a lot of Java and using Eclipse, so I didn't need all that stuff. If Microsoft wants Teams to be uh, the communication tool for everyone, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, and the web, it isn't enough. So Microsoft promises that Teams for Linux will support all the Teams' core uh, capabilities. 
If you're a developer who built an app for Microsoft Teams, you'll be happy to know that your work uh, that work for in Slack for Linux as well. That's interesting. Microsoft did not respond to a couple of questions in time for publication. Why would it say in Slack for Windows or, or for Linux? Slack's a different product. So <laughs> what what features the app does not support, and whether we expect other Office apps coming to Linux? Um, uh, I would I would suspect we would. Um, Again, I think this is this is basically I think they're going to push these things out and then they're going to swap the core underneath of Windows and it's not going to be Windows anymore. It's going to be Linux. Uh, there are helpful. There are a handful of features related to Office uh, app functionality and screen sharing control and meetings that are not yet available in Linux. Probably you probably need the other Office apps to do that kind of thing. Um, so they told VentureBeat, today's launch is a notable improvement for companies and schools that rely on Office 365. Windows never reported Skype for business to Linux. As a result, yeah, in business, Skype for business is kind of, meh. As a result, employees with Linux devices had to rely on unofficial and unsupported clients of Skype for business to communicate with the rest of the company. Um, now with Microsoft Teams replacing Skype for business, the same has been happening with Teams. First, okay, so um, anyway. Let's look at the other article, see if it gives any other in, uh, information. And, my, okay, it's, it's the same. At Windows Today, the hop maker is releasing Teams. So we have Debian and RPM. Um, looks identical to what is available on Windows and Mac OS. That's nice. And is entering uh, the public preview before Microsoft finalizes it. Yeah, it's a bigger push to align Teams as its hub for Office. So that's the thing. If they really want to make Teams and TFS in particular, I know you can run Git inside of TFS. They, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they own Git. That's used a lot in the open source community, uh, Windows and Linux and Mac. So that's probably the next integration point um, really at the development level. So uh, this will, I hope, encourage in particular places that still do a lot of Windows-centric stuff when they don't need to. Uh, in fact, some of the um, programs that I run personally, the only difference between, you know, they, com they have the same code base for Mac uh, and for Windows. They could just compile it to a Linux distro and, and it would actually work. Um, some of the other, M the, the plugins may not, uh, some plugins only work on Windows, which is sad. This app looks identical. Okay, we already said that. Uh, is entering, is bring Teams to Linux as part of the bigger push. I'm um, really excited about the availability of Microsoft Teams for Linux, uh, says Jim Zellman, uh, Executive Director at the Linux Foundation. This, With this announcement, Microsoft is bringing its hub for teamwork to Linux. I'm thrilled to see Microsoft recognize a recognition of how companies and educational institutions alike are using Linux to transfer their work culture. Yep. It's significant to see Microsoft invest in desktop Linux, especially an Office app. Microsoft has never uh, embraced Linux with its own Office apps before, although it is it is under the covers on inside of Windows. Um, being a, for a company to address that gap, it's unlikely we'll see uh, full versions of Word anytime soon, but you never know. I, I, you know, I would not be surprised about Excel. What I don't know is how well it'll work. With it. One of the big pieces that uh, Excel uh, is using, Excel data services, but there are so many libraries that will just compile to Windows native, same source code, Windows native, Mac native, Linux native, that um, I don't see why they wouldn't at least be pursuing this. Uh, Microsoft is also developing its new Fluid framework, which takes the idea of documents and turns them into a cloud app that multiple people can contribute to uh, with graphs and tables and text, et cetera. Um, that sounds interesting. Microsoft revealed recently that Teams will act like the scaffolding to combine old world exper experiences like Word and new ones like Fluid into a single hub. Uh, that's really interesting. So again, this is a, that first piece. So I would not be surprised if we see this, uh, see it replace Slack. We'll see how well it replaces Slack on the Windows desktop. Um, integrations to TFS. So now you can have uh, the developer collaboration. And then if you get some kind of integration with p pieces of Office, uh, say Word and Excel and maybe um, PowerPoint or something, that would be uh, fantastic and give people um, the, because I, I don't know uh, the background, you know, the breakdown of their revenue, but I would not be surprised if the OSs are a smaller part compared to all the other office stuff. So we'll see. So what do you think about this? Is it good? Is it is it great? Is it terrible? Is it just the next step? 
Uh, are you afraid they're just going to swallow up Linux and, and own it? Uh, we'll see, I guess, in the with the dogs going nuts. Thank you very much, and we'll see you. Thanks for stopping by the Word Nerd Corner. Thanks for sharing, and thanks for subscribing so much. Bye. All right, three, two, one.